An alternative a well-known method in order to balance Roedo's equation is the ion electron method. This is the simplest and more versatile method and consists on rewriting the unbalanced Roedo's equation as two half reactions, the oxidation and the reduction. This equation shows only the species being oxidized and reduced, while the so-called spectator ions, which are present but play no role in the chemistry of the reaction, are not included. The method takes into account the electrons that are transferred to balance both half reactions. Let's examine the method through the following reaction between permanganate ion and the iron 2 plus ion. If we deduce the oxidation number of all atoms of this reaction, we will see that permanganate is reduced from 7 plus to 2 plus, so it gains 5 electrons, while iron 2 plus increases its oxidation state from 2 plus to 3 plus, so it loses 1 electron. Then we apply the method which consists on applying a set of rules. Firstly, we represent both processes, oxidation and reduction, by splitting the whole reaction in two half reaction. And in each half reaction, we balance all no hydrogen and no oxygen atom. In our example, it's pretty simple. Secondly, we need to balance oxygen atoms in each half reaction by adding to the side deficient in oxygen the same number of water molecules as oxygen atoms needed. Thirdly, we add hydrogen ions to balance all hydrogens in the reaction even though the reaction occurs in basic solution because this could be fixed simply by adding the bo to both sides of the equation so many hydroxide ions as hydrogen ions we have in the equation as we discussed in the oxidation number method. In addition, we use electrons to balance the net charge of both half reactions. Electrons should be on opposite side of the two half reaction. The next steps will be to balance electrons gained with electron lost, since both terms must be the same. Therefore, we multiply each equation by appropriate coefficients. In our case, we should multiply the second half reaction by a factor of 5. Finally, when we add the two equations together, due to the fact that there are the same number of electrons in both sides of the equations, those can be cancelled out and thus they won't appear in the final results. If the hydrogen ion or water molecules had appeared in both sides of the global equation, we would have also cancelled them out.